shots of women's step on iron. You know Jim Clark? Yeah, I do. I had yeah. lessons for three days from him about 35 years ago. Okay. 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 All right, so we're about, you know what, I'm going to set my watch. So that we get, we got to get 20 to 30 minutes, okay? But okay. nothing longer than 30. So you got time on there? I do. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, Ed, Kathy. Kathy, delighted nice. to be here with you. Oh, today. nice to meet you. Thanks for coming out. Okay, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a CPA, and then okay. uh, and in the, the last part of my career, I, I ran a bank, a small bank. Okay, so a banker. Bank. Right. Well, you can call me a banker. Okay. Other sports that you played? Uh, played a lot of high school basketball. Some swimming. No, no, I never played tennis. Okay. Um, how about bowling? I did a little bowling. Uh, it's been a long time. A little baseball. It's been a long time. Yeah, it's been a long okay. time. Baseball player. Yeah. Um, do you like music? I do like music. Do you dance? Uh, not very well. Okay, but you do dance. I do dance. Okay. I try. All right. Do you like to cook? Um, I grill. Oh, you like to grill. I like okay. to grill. Okay, that's good. Um, any physical problems I should know about? I think, I, I think for my age, I'm in, in really pretty good shape. Okay, everything's good. All right, good. Um, so, how long have you been playing golf? Uh, probably uh, 65 years. Okay. Have you had a lot of lessons? Uh, over time, a number. Yeah. What do you shoot? Uh, I'll shoot uh, mid 80s. Okay. Mid 80s or a little more. Okay. And and what would you like to do today? I'd like to get better with the short game. Because I know there's a lot of strokes to be saved with the short game. Okay, what usually happens when you... Well, if I get into this chunky over a meter rug, okay. I'd probably chunk it more than anything. Okay. It seems like I come in too shallow or something. I catch the grass. Okay. And not good things happen. All right, good. Okay, um... So we can eliminate some strokes possibly by getting you a little Absolutely. bit closer or actually chipping it in? Well, we start with by getting it closer and okay. then we'll work from there. Okay, so you brought a, a several I, I different clubs. I brought clubs. Uh, a gap wedge, a sand wedge, okay. a pitching wedge, and a seven. All right, so you got some good clubs there. All right, you got some good grips. Do you have a little bit of arthritis in your hands? Uh, or? Just a little in the thumbs, but not. It okay. doesn't, I don't think it affects my golf game. Okay, good. All right. Okay, so. so what my idea is uh, when we're chipping is we really want to chip to a spot. Ultimately, we want to go to the hole, but if we think about the hole, we're going to go to the hole. Okay? So our goal today is really to be able to land the ball on the fly to the spot on the truck. And then You, have you done any visualization? Do you do yeah, that? I, I do. Okay. What What do you picture? The ball rolling? A line that it's going to follow? Or I usually I usually think about a, a spot, okay. and then the spot obviously gives. You're also thinking, okay, if I hit it here, it's going to roll out X, mm -hmm. and hopefully that's somewhere close to the hole. Okay. So we we're, we hope. We hope. Yeah. <laughs> we don't think as positive. Okay, but that's fine. Okay, so what I'd like to show you on the stroke. And you know what? Actually, let me let me see what you do, okay? Okay. And then then we'll go from there. All right. Rather than me just changing everything for you. Okay, so I know that we probably we probably almost touched on here. Well, definitely. But we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. Okay, so we're gonna go right here. And okay. what do you got? Sand wedge. Sand wedge. Okay. So walk me through your thought process here. Well, I, I tend to try and lay it somewhat flat and just just do that. With
So the first one, is that what happened? That's it, yeah. Two off. Okay. So what I would like to do is I like to choke down. Oh, okay. Stand over there. All right. Okay. I put the club forward. Okay. All right. You're taking the glove. Almost yeah. hide it behind this wrist. Okay. Okay. So you're de-locking. And then I play it just a, a little bit forward. Okay. I have my weight towards my target because I I don't want to flip it up. Okay. That, that's... I want it to be a low trajectory. Right. And then run. And it's it's a lot like you're putting. So you see, I'm only moving my shoulders, mm -hmm. but I'm keeping the club level. I'm not doing this big, okay. like you do. All okay. Right. And usually, what happens with this shot, most of the time, if you miss it, you're short. You're not yeah, long. Well, of course. If, if you I miss this it, shot, you're I'll... usually short yes. of the hole. Okay. That's true. Not blading it across. Okay. Or just hit. So I'm gonna say probably I'm gonna land try and land this on the little white spot there. I come behind and I visualize. I think he's gonna break it just a little bit. Take a couple little practice strokes. Now if I was going that way, I would probably use my putter. Because you see how I'm chipping it up? Mm -hmm. So I'm against the grain if right. I was going that way, but I'm not. I'm going this way. So I think I'm gonna be okay here. See? So I'm all right. Get my little spot in my head. Now I missed my spot. I was a little long. But, but that's the but that's the stuff. Okay. Kind of what you easier to develop. Yeah, what you were trying to do was this, and then you know sometimes you know you can't control how far it's going to go. But we're only, with this stroke, we're only talking about this little distance. And, and what we'll do today is, depends on where we're at and how far we got to roll, that's where we're going to use some different clubs. Okay. Does that make sense that to you? Sense to me. Is that anything that you've ever done before? Yeah, I, I used to use what I call a hooded 7 or 8 iron. Yeah. Uh, almost behind the right. We're not, we're only going to there. Okay? Nice and level. Just use your shoulders, don't use your wrist. Okay? So we'll, we want to fly it. Yeah, we want to fly it. No, that, that's okay. But that was a good hit. You see how soft that landed? And, it, it, and you did hit it in the sweet spot. Get a little more angle. Get your weight towards your target. Better get him closer. Risky. Little, little risky. still, and that's not yeah. keeping him stiff enough. Yet. No, no. Nope. All right. Yeah. 
<laughs> TikTok. All right. Well, we hit our target. We hit the but, target, but that's. But we got to hit it on the fly. Got to hit it on the fly. quite getting into the target yet. Not quite. Right. All right, let's go up here. Okay. Let's try the tipper club. All right. We're going to go a little bit. One quarter, roll three quarters. Okay. And you being uh, into a lot of statistics, how's that? I should have been, been good at math. I should have been good at math. Yeah, how's that? The only one that's different is your sandwich because it has the most lump. Right. So that is 50 50. Okay. It will fly 50% of the way and only roll out 50% okay. of the way. Everything else, one quarter, three quarters. Now, we're going to get a little more roll here because just we're because we're going to. But we'll go down there and then we'll hit one up here. Okay? okay. So I'm thinking maybe where that leaf is, the second leaf. You see okay. the first so leaf, the second the, one there? Uh, We're going for that one down right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so same, same grip, same play, but we got a different same, All right, you want to do the same swing? Yep, same swing. We need to go someplace in between. Right? In between. Yep. Like you're tossing the ball. Just use your shoulders. Okay, that's not bad. You gonna, you got it's level. Roll out pretty nice, yeah. Okay. You got you, you you stopped when you got here, so that's okay. You didn't, didn't let it get it. there. Yeah. So a little better, but yeah. So if you really think about, don't let that club head get in front. Of no your, release. No release. No release. Nope. Okay, so we know where to hit it. Good. Good. 
did. I did. I think I actually used the shoulders. I thought right. about using the shoulders that time. Yeah. As my. Almost like it's a putter. Mm -hmm. And your hands are totally out. Out of it. Out of it. Okay. Well, let's go over here. And we're going to hit some real short ones. little less than 50-50 because we know they're really fast. Get a little more angle on that. Okay, there you go. Good. Go. Got it a little bit more. It's kind of slowed down. Yeah. Big tick tock.
the difference between what you just imagined and what you're actually going to do. say one quarter, three quarters, probably like where that gray area is here, mm -hmm. right? You Some agree? of the, the far one on the right. Yep. Could have gave it a little bit more, but I know the greens are fast. Okay. Usually they usually it runs right and I didn't do it for you. This is probably where you want to use your set. Right. Now uh, remember, we don't have to go any longer. This club is going to send it longer. We are going uphill a little bit, so we could be a, just a little more aggressive. As far as your distance, your distance is really good. I'm thinking almost on that line of that ball, huh? Mm -hmm. Just right of it, I think. Yeah. And you picked out your landing zone, right? Got my landing zone, and okay. actually in the Keep game. your body still, okay? Just your shoulders. You don't need any hip action or anything. Keep your hands still. got our seven iron so you know maybe you might want to use an eight iron but what I like is it doesn't need anything extra So a, a, a good a good way to kind of you, you had your stance just a little bit close to where we wanted to go. So what you're kind of trying to accomplish here is when you get your feet lined up, you're actually drawing a line parallel to your feet. Okay. Okay. So you were just a, a little I bit tend this to open. way. I... Yeah. So that that will help you get set up. Okay. If you and, and that should help you with the stroke okay. coming through okay. that you want to follow your feet so if you feel that you have a tendency to what close or open, well I, I you weren't open on that I you wasn't. were close on yeah. both of those i've been trying to work on on being more square if you will instead of a left foot back okay is that something you do on purpose or is that, is that something, it's something that you i've see? done for a long long time mm -hmm. okay I'm, try, I'm trying to break that habit okay with iron shots and a lot of Okay, well you could add it to like your pre-shot routine. 
So okay. if you come in and you're a little bit closed, just take that foot and just put it back a little bit. Okay? Okay. So that's custom just to you. You can try that and see if that okay. helps you get a little more in aligned with where you want to okay. go. Okay? All right. All right. So if you notice, you didn't chunk any of them, did you? I didn't chunk any of them. No. And and how do, how how do you feel about this type of? I, I like it because it, it promotes some consistency. Okay. And I think just for me, just getting some consistency may not always be a great shot. Right. But it, hopefully, it's not a terrible shot. Right. Well, to that, begin not, with, to none begin of these with. were like that terrible. Right. Well, the one you you went off pretty much, yeah. but. If you can get your wrist out of it, right. okay? okay. So a good drill for you would first be, I would put something, maybe stick a T all the way down, or, or okay. put a towel or a circle or something. Right. And what you want to do is aim for that target okay. on the fly. On the fly. Okay. So don't don't even worry about where it goes first. Okay. If we can't hit our our interim target, then we're we're not, lost. We're yeah. not going to make the shot. Okay. Right. So it, it, it's our secondary target. Our first target is actually we want to go in the pin, but we can't look at the pin because we'll be too lost. Okay. Right. So that's our first goal. And then if you want to find out how far each one goes, if you hit the same target and then see how it looks. and then you all have maybe? right. Okay. Yeah, with different clubs. Yeah. So you're going to the same target with each club on the fly. And then you'll see how far it rolls out because yeah. it's, it's 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 going to be what you make of it. Got okay, it. I can't tell you this one's going to go 20 yards or yeah. this one's going to go 10 feet. That's going to be it. something you're going to have to come up with. But that that's a really good drill. Okay. Okay. And again, remember that you don't don't let the club get in front of those wrist. hands. Yeah. Don't break your wrist. Yep. It's all shoulder, just like the putter. Mm -hmm. And get your weight leaning because we want a low. Yeah. Got it. Do you have Perfect. any questions? How do you do it out of a chunky, this is a chunky grass? Well, what you you do the same thing. Um, okay. Like if we were down here, we can do this real quick. Well, what if you've got to go over something though? Okay. Well then. Or a short shot. Too. Well, that's a that's a different play. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You can still do a short shot, but if you had to go over a bunker or something then that's a different shot. Okay, okay. you'd yeah, want to flop that up. You'd want to do what you used to do. Okay, yeah. All right. But just, just kind of remember if you can keep your hands a little more quiet, quiet. through those shots. Got it. And take that practice stroke to see what you're working with. I think that there's a good chance to promote some consistency. Okay, all right, all right. thanks.